France's Haute Vienne region is home to a centuries long tradition. One of the senses of touch and smell, both necessary for some of the country's most renowned leather production. It is, however, a dying skill. The banks of the river Vancou are home to the Gal Tannery, the only one still operating here today. Former actress Nathalie Gal has been running the business for three years after her father handed her the reins. The tannery is France's last to work with cow hides, submerging them in pits of oak bark for the process, which lasts several months. Over time, a biochemical reaction causes the hide to rot without having to add the chromium used in other tanneries. The chemical transformation will happen very slowly. It's a bit like when you make wine. These are the same tannins from oak. It's just like when you age whiskey or wine in oak barrels, and it gives this roundness to the leather, in the same way that you give body to a wine. Nearby, the process is complete, and the tanks reveal their contents. It's a secret concoction that can produce orthopedic and hypoallergenic leathers that this tannery has become respected for. A few months later, after having been dried and stretched out, the skins are tanned with a special oil, which gives them the desired texture, flexibility and base colour. The biggest secret is our craftsmen's know-how, not to mention the water from the Vanku River, which has exceptional qualities. That's the water we use to make our products. But there are also some real manufacturing secrets that I'm not going to reveal. These stiff leathers made the tannery famous for its horse tack, especially the very strong belts that connect the saddle to the stirrups. And nothing leaves the building until it's been thoroughly tested. It has to be strong enough to take at least 100 kilograms and not break. We've got these weights and if the leather passes the test, we won't have any customer returns or problems. Rustic, but effective. It's up to 80 kilograms. It looks like there's a problem with this one. So we'll have to examine it to see what's wrong. Harnesses made from this leather have the reputation of being the Rolls-Royce of horse tack. Today, this saddler, Emmanuel Huguet, has come to pick one of these exceptional leathers for his latest creation. I like it when they're between the two, neither too soft nor too hard. Once hand-picked by Emmanuel, the leather goes to National Stud Farm and Horse Racing Association, Pompadour. It was here four years ago that Emmanuel decided to set up shop as a saddle maker. I check that the seat is nicely taut and symmetrical. I do the same on both sides so the seat isn't deformed. Skills like these come with time, experience and perseverance. Emmanuel's Swedish wife Isabel works by his side. She too has got to grips with the skills of this craft. I've always loved horses. I do a lot of riding. We're lucky enough to be able to do something we love. Not everyone can say that they earn a living doing that. The entire seat is stitched by hand. Only the inner parts of the saddle are assembled by machine. These saddles are often made to measure in the desired colors of the customer and tailored to fit to the width of the horse's back and the rider to the nearest millimeter. Their average retail price is 4,000 euros. I'm just checking that each part is in the right place and that the symmetry is correct. This one's good. How long can a saddle last? It depends on how they're maintained. There are people who look after their saddles well, and it can last a lifetime. But there are a lot of people who maybe don't use the right cleaning products or oil them too much. You only have to oil a saddle twice a year. Each one we do is satisfying because we've made it with our own hands. Each one is a work of art, and each one tells its own story. <laughs> a work of art that oozes the reassuring scent of quality leather. 
a unique object that delights its owners, but also the craftsmen when it comes to the big test, the final fitting. Seventy different steps were taken to make this saddle, the result of a week's work and the shared passion of those who lovingly assembled it. Oh, how your legs feel? We can iron out any technical issues. 